This video introduces you to reverse titrations and how they are used to control some Henkel chemical baths. If you are unfamiliar with titrations, we suggest that you first view the Henkel video titled Titration Basics for Process Control. Titration is a key quality monitoring tool that makes sure that your process stays within specification and that you continue to produce quality parts. A reverse titration uses a sample of the production bath, which is of unknown strength, to react with the prepared solution of known strength. The amount of bath solution used tells operators the strength of the bath and whether it is within specifications. When doing a titration, a basic set of equipment is required. You will require a beaker or a similar container to take a sample of the solution to be tested. You will also need a beaker or flask in which to do the titration. A pipette and pipette bulb is used to accurately prepare the standard solution. In this case, although a burette can be used, you may find it convenient to use a graduated pipette when titrating. A magnetic stirrer makes the test a little easier to do, but is optional. In addition to this equipment, you will need the specified test solutions for the Henkel product you are using. A list of these materials occurs on the last page of the Henkel Technical Process Bulletin for the product. For a reverse titration, the test solutions are used to prepare a standard of known concentration. We will add the production bath solution to the prepared standard in measured amounts. After you have collected a bath sample, you need to prepare the standard solution that you will titrate with the bath sample. Never pipette by mouth, as this exposes you to potentially dangerous chemicals. Use a pipette bulb, properly mounted on the pipette, to draw up the sample. When using a pipette, draw up your sample until the level hits the marked line near the top of the pipette. You may have to do this a few times before you become proficient at getting the level just right. Once you have the right amount of liquid in the pipette, you can allow it to drain into your titrating beaker or flask. Refer to the technical bulletin and prepare the standard carefully, as it will determine the accuracy of your test. With a reverse titration, you add a measured quantity of your bath to the prepared standard. So, the first step is to fill the graduated pipette or burette to the zero mark with your bath sample. Slowly add the solution from the pipette into your prepared standard with constant mixing. Proceed slowly and watch for the color change indicated on the process bulletin and stop adding the bath solution when your sample changes to the correct color. Read the amount of bath solution used from the air-liquid interface in the burette. Record the total amount of bath solution used to reach the color change endpoint. The Henkel product data sheet will specify how many points or milliliters of solution to use to control your process. Now that you have measured the number of milliliters, you can compare that with your process control points and use the calculation or chart provided to determine if it is in specification or requires additions or adjustment. Record your values in a log sheet or other quality records and make note of any additions that are required. It is important to wear the correct protective equipment when handling chemicals and glass test equipment. Details of recommended safety equipment may be found on the safety data sheet for the Henkel product that you are using. Eye protection and impermeable gloves are always recommended to avoid exposure to chemicals. Always review the safety data sheet before using a material for the first time so you understand any risks and what PPE may be required. 